Hello everybody, this is Alchemist, and this is Star Trek Online, and we are going to be doing another episode today. Let's see, The Calling. The forces of the Terran Empire continue to pursue their leader's goals, this time in the Mirror Universe. What prize would make a journey to the deadly planet Pavo... I am so... Look... Pavo, stupid. Okay? Pavo's dumb. It's... Everything about Pavo is dumb. Like, okay, a living planet's a cool concept. But a living planet that is a BFG that can target anything in the universe, which is why uh, Mirror Tilly wanted it, is dumb. Pavo is basically... Pavo is everything, right? Pavo is, like... At this point, we're better off destroying the planet. Right? Because this thing is the Death Star. It's a planet that can... That can send out sonar in space. That's what Pavo... That's what the whole deal with Pavo was in Discovery, was sonar in space. Stupid. Like, like many things in Discovery, born out of a Ed Wood-level understanding of physics and astronomy. Okay, I'm not even joking. Go watch, like, old Ed Wood stuff, and then go watch Star Trek Discovery, and you're gonna notice that they make a lot of the same... that a lot of the same plot contrivances are present in both. Uh, if you've ever watched Plan 9 from Outer Space, it is quite an experience. Uh, so, Pavo was created based on a stupid concept, and it's gone on to become basically the ultimate weapon in the ge in, in the whole in the whole Star Trek setting. It can be the Death Star. If you piss Pavo off, it can just fire a BFG whatever the hell it wants, at whatever the hell it wants. It can attack... It's a planet that can attack other planets with a giant wave motion cannon made of bad feelings. I wish I was exaggerating this. At this point, we are legit better off just blowing up the planet. Just blow up Pavo. We have more than enough technology to do so. Scourge the fucking planet. Because it, in it is regularly endangering the galaxy at this point, having this thing lying around. This is me saying this. This is Mr. Pacifist. Mr. I would let most of the enemy encounters, like, live if I could. If routes were a thing in this game, which they should be, Pavo sucks. Pavo's dumb. I'm done. I, I'm, I'm tired of Pavo being a thing. If Pavo is... Go, if Pavo is going to be a problem for the galaxy... Look... If Pavo was this threatening to the entire galaxy uh, with this much frequency, how long do you think it is going to be before the Klingons decide the galaxy is better off without it? This is the race of people whose mythology is that they killed their own gods for being too much trouble. More trouble than they were worth. If And now we have this living planet that is regularly endangering the galaxy. So how long do you think it is before the Klingons decide, we're better off without this thing? Begin the calling. Yes. That'll be $200. 
The it's probably the shadowing, but the insignia looks like a big shovel. That'll be two hundred dollars for repurposed assets from the Mako gear. That's Mako gear. That's a, that's what the that's what the uh, the under the undersuit is. It's just like the the Mako stuff. So, Jupiter Station sure looks different. Actually, no. No, 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 I'm thinking of Utopia Planidia. I haven't been to Utopia Planidia in ages. Uh, you could probably thank Kurtzman for that, for them not having Utopia Planidia around anymore. And uh, Burgess, you're rocking the purple now, I see. Did, did they give you an actual badge? Or, nope, you just have a blank badge, okay. Sup, dude. It's been a while. I haven't seen you since the Delta Quadrant. Welcome to Jupiter Station. You'll pardon me if I dispense with the usual formalities, but uh, the urgency of the situation demands it, I'm afraid. All right. If you'll follow me, I can show you to the briefing room. Our partners in the operation are waiting for us there. Very well. Lead the way. The briefing room isn't far. Ilea regained consciousness recently. We keep calling her that. We have her isolated for observation at the moment. You know that's not Ilea. Ilea's dead. Strangely, she's asked to speak with you. Quite urgently, I might add. Raisha, Sehan, Delva, Kamen. Kamen! House Torg is here. Interesting. Uh, I see we have all four major alliance members represented. Oh, and Lita's there too. Nothing's perfect. Really do like this new look. I, I, I think they finally nailed their aesthetic ten years into the game. But still, like I think they finally nailed their aesthetic for like what the 25th century should be as far as visual design. I also, I also really like the, the like turquoise they got going here. Hmm. Might need to do something with that. Anyways! Hello, uh, V'ger probe. Ilea dead. Okay? Ilea got vaporized? And this mechanism was built to look like her. Spoilers, if you... Well, you're about to be spoiled if you've never seen the motion picture anyways. But, uh, you really should. <coughs> Especially, like, the like the director... The finished version that just came out. Watch that one. Uh, but yeah, like, Ilea is, was, like, dead. When this thing showed up, like, this is a robot. It's an incredibly sophisticated robot. It's built to perfectly mimic human function. Like, this is, like, this is, like, far, far beyond, say, like, Data or something. This is, like, way beyond that. That's how advanced this thing is. And it does have her memory. It remember it, it remembers her experiences. It remembers the way she felt about things, but it's still a robot. It's still a probe, and it's also not supposed to exist anymore because she kind of fused and danced with a person and a giant spaceship. So, if she like, she's not supposed to exist anymore. That was the whole point of the ending of the motion picture, is the birth of a new life form. And, and this life form is a composite of, like, different life forms. Watch the movie. You'll, it'll, it'll make sense. This does not make sense. How are you here? You've arrived. We can now begin. Who are you? I am called Ilea. I am a part of Vija and speak on their behalf. 
Ailea is dead. I am that which was Ailea, and more. Evolved. A part of Vija. Uh, yeah, Vija's not supposed to exist anymore. Why, what are you? In simple terms, I am a cybernetic life form, a living machine programmed with the knowledge of what was once Ailea of Delta. As a part of Vija, I am able to utilize their power and knowledge, though at a greatly limited scope. I am evolved. Why are you here? We just sense the other, alike and yet different, a dark reflection. Where Vija once wished to merge with their creator, the other wishes to punish their creator for abandoning them to the void. What does that have to do with us? Vija believes the other is being sought by those you know as Terrans. They believe the Terran leader wants to use the other for his own purposes, including conquest. Vija does not want this. I am here to help you prevent that from happening. Again, that's amazing considering Vija should not exist anymore. How did you get here? Through Vija, I am able to move over great distances. The greater the distance, the more energy it requires, and the greater effect it has on me. When I was with Vija, we were very far from this universe. Traveling here came at great expense to me. What is the Emperor's plan? The Emperor knows that I am a part of Vija. Connected. Somehow, he was able to redirect that connection to the other. The Terrans injured me. Instinctively, I called out to Vija. Only my calls were not heard by them. It was the other who heard me. And it wants to know more. It searches for me now. Interesting that she refers to Vija as them. Considering Vija should be an it. In the strictest term. Because, again... Vija merged with another with another life form at the end of Watch the movie. So he used you as bait. A crude term, but applicable. I believe the Emperor wanted to use my connection to lure the other into a trap, but I do not know why. Uh this is a it's a passable like, obviously, you can't... Obviously, uh, Persis Kambada has long... Uh, has uh, long been deceased, sadly. So, there's no... So, obviously, you're going to have to try and ballpark your way to sound like her. And it's passable, but it doesn't quite have the weird... Distortion that the Ilea probe... Uh, should have when talking. Like, when, like when she's, in, like, in full, like, pro V'ger probe, like, investigative mode, she's got, like, this almost... It almost sounds like, like, distortion on an intercom when she's talking. <clears throat> What's your plan? I will go to the other. I will communicate with them as I would with V'ger. I will try to reason with them, to soothe their rage, and prevent them from falling victim to the Terrans. That sounds... dangerous. The other is powerful. And... angry. They may not listen. I can only hope that, in learning of Vija, they realize they are no longer alone. They may find hope. I hope so, for all our sakes. Do you have any more questions? No, that will be all. That uh, was quite the feat. One hopes her trip to the Mirror Universe is not as taxing as her trip here, from wherever she was with Vija. Agreed. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not big on placing my faith in one person. Even a bald demigod is from another dimension. So, what are we gonna do while she goes off to confront the other? 
That's a good question. Indeed. I'd like to begin with an intelligence briefing from one of our allies. They're a member of the Coalition, a resistance group in the Mirror Universe. Mr. Ray Eat, if you'd care to join us. This should be interesting. Thank you, Commander, all of you, for your time. You're gonna want to hear this. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. This guy? He's a glorified pirate. Do restrain yourself, Admiral. Rayit has traveled a great distance at great risk to himself and his crew to deliver critical information on the enemy's activities. I'd ask you to respect that effort and hear what the man has to say. Thanks, Commander. Something big is going down on a planet called Pavo. Our Pavo, to be specific. We don't have a lot of time, so I'll get right to it if everyone's ready. Tell us what happened. Most Terrans fear Pavo. They think it's cursed. Truth is, it's a curse of their own making. Years ago, they started brutalizing it. Turned it into a monster. Then the monster turned on them. Needless to say, we were a little surprised when Tilly went to the Terrans' graveyard. Seems the Terrans got past their fear. And now? We have a new reason to fear them. Am I playing this mirror me again? Welcome to Pava, my own personal hell. Never thought I'd be in this wasteland again, but... The Burr says go to Pava, I go to Pava. Better than going to an agonizer booth on the maximum setting. Not by much, but better. Wait, you've been here before? And lived? Indeed I have, Sunshine. Several times. The first time was a long time ago. My enemies managed to get me assigned to this system. Got caught in an ion storm and wound up in that universe near the goody goody version of Pop. That sounds lively. Oh, it was. I had a pretty sweet scheme in place there before some of the locals were French and works. Managed to get away using Pavo's power. And much to my surprise, I wound up here instead of Rice. And no fool to go to Rice. What happened next? Oh, you know, fought for my life, barely managing to survive, haunted by energy ghosts, business as usual on good old Pavo. Things were looking pretty bad, but one day, surprise, the Emperor sent some advanced scouts here as part of this big scheme of his, and they found me. Ah, so you rescued them. Oh no, some of them immediately tried to kill me. Bad me. The ones who survived realized that someone like me who figured out how to weaponize Pavo, that someone might be worth something to the Emperor. And here we are. Right. Enough reminiscing. We have a job to do. Let's get to it. Let's just do this quickly and get it over with. This place sucks. I almost wish it was lush again, so I could burn it all back down. Rise is over Ray. Orion's the only place to party. So... That's interesting that he just said that. Probably for different reasons. So, yeah. My uh, character is basically came up from Starship Security. And uh, one of the major antagonists in the neck of the woods in which he operates is the Orion Syndicate. So I imagine that he'd be, if he ever went to, like, the Orions, like, ever went into, like, the Lion's Den of the Orions, he'd probably be going there for completely different reasons than the mirror version of the character. But again, it's another bizarre symmetry between my character's lore and the way they've taken the mirror universe version. Ready to an open fire! Oh, 
was the dark matter thing. Unnecessary roll. Someone needs to tell this coalition commander that shotguns don't work from that far away in the video game. Oh, deal phaser damage ground complete. Done. The Emperor picked the right person to lead our efforts here. Your little helpers don't say much, do they? They let their guns do their talking for them, unlike some people. Oh yeah, pew pew pew, fascinating conversation. Nickname will never get old. Even after nearly two centuries, the thing. Shoot the person. I I see you there. You can have one too. Ambush. If they go down, they're just going to regenerate health. Right. Sounds like the advanced team ran into the coalition punks. We need to tune the crystals ourselves. Right. Everyone stay sharp. Don't let them get the drop on us.
Gun Squad down. Don't forget to activate the Agonizer. This thing. charge of this mission. This happen fast, Inquisitor. There's far too many coalition goons around here lately. Okay, we're almost ready to go here. I need to calibrate the transmission settings, and then we should be able to send the Emperor's message out to deep space. Watch my back. We've come too far to fail now, and you know the price of failure in the Terran Empire. Failure is not an option for us. You do your job, we'll do ours. I'd ask you to surrender, but we all know that's not in the Terran vocabulary. Oh, come on. Is the entire coalition on Bravo today? Skull. Trout. Can we not reference Picard, please? How many of you Terrans have to die before you end this? Kind of lame, sir. Only a minor setback, trust me. Yep, hold the line. Hold the line, time objective. Haven't seen this in the last five billion missions. You won't get rid of me that Come on, are you even trying? Cling on toddlers put up more of a fight. I'd probably be No, no. Did you miss me? You don't look like you miss me at all. I wouldn't take you seriously even if you were actually doing anything to me. Pavo was dangerous enough before, but now, I don't want to think about what the Terrans can do with its power. Something needs to be done. Fast. Blow up the planet. Based on the data we were able to collect before we had to withdraw, 
It looks like the Terrans are going to use the antenna on Pavo to send a signal into deep space. Somewhere. Most likely the other that I Leah spoke of. There's more. They set up tech to weaponize Pavo. That antenna will turn into a planetary-based cannon of unimaginable power if we don't stop the Terrans. Uh... Something that strong might be able to hurt anything. Even this other you're talking about. And it'll definitely make short work of any coalition ship in its sights. Even a dreadnought. Uh... What was I talking about? What was I talking about right at the beginning? Or any vessel in an alliance fleet for that matter. Why do we I keep think this we planet understand around? each other here. I know I'm a glorified pirate, but I'm willing to risk it all to stop these bastards. Are you? I am. We are. We'll do what needs to be done to stop the Terrans. Well, I'll say this for the pirate. He can make a convincing speech when he wants to. Indeed. Yeah, enough about him. We need to get moving. You ready to go? Yep. We made it. Good timing. The Coalition's taking a beating here, particularly from the Terran flagship. Yes, the ISS Enterprise. Aw, oh, nice of Tilly to bring my ship out to this hellhole of a planet. If there's even one scratch on my ship's hull, one micrometeorite dent, I... Well, you know the rest. Murder, death, kill, etc. Let's get to work, shall we? Before the pirate and all his little friends are blown to pieces. That's the, uh, new Miranda variant, I think, the new Shikar. Don't know how I feel about it. What do we got? We have the USS Federation Cruiser. Come on. Uh, what? Does he have a name, GM? First in the fleet. Go to Red Alert. Engage the Terran fleet. Coalition forces, this is great. The new arrivals are allies. Please don't shoot. Surely they've changed your command codes by now. The command codes they know about, yeah. 
Fortunately for us, I have a backup set of codes, and they damn sure don't know about them. I hope you're right. Take me with you. You need all the guns you can get over there. Lita? Ugh, I have my doubts about this, but... I suppose having some cannon fodder wouldn't hurt. Fine, the pirate can come too. Just stay out of my way and don't touch anything. Everyone ready to beam over? Alright. Let's... Well, stick with what we know for now. Super Turbo Turkey Puncher 3! Oh, my God. 